praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, well, I'm uh, I'm new here, you know, relatively in this church. I I was attending another church. Um, I think there are things that happen in one's life that uh, you know that this is God's hand in your life. I'm, you know, I'm a very popular person. <laughs> Maybe many of you might not know me. Uh, but I'm very popular, and not only here, outside this country also. So I, I was to travel uh, for our annual general meeting of Nigerians in diaspora. Um, I did everything to make sure I'm there, because being the president, um, I was to be there. I used all my contacts to get visa to travel, but it didn't work out. So I thought, well, that means that um, maybe God does not want me to move. I will, we were to hold the election, uh, the next uh, you know, tenure. Um, then I just say, okay, uh, let the will of God be done. Because if I'm not there, that means that the possibility of uh, you know, winning the election will be minimal. But God did miracle that even those opponents who were there, who even mobilized the whole Europe to be there, they couldn't, you know, over, you know, succeed in, in, in that election. So, I want to say that God does miracles. You know, when he says, he promises, it comes to pass. So, the promise of God is a thing that, um, you know, I will continue to cherish and hold very high in his word. So, praise the Lord for it. And I thank God for my family. We also, uh, you know, had cause to also thank God for providing for us and uh, making us progress faster than we thought was possible, even within this uh, serious situation we are all over the world. So praise the Lord for me and uh, pray for my family. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. <laughs> just a short word. And um, it's just to compliment what my husband has said, that God does miracle. And um, this testimony is to the glory of God uh, because it was a very trying moment. And you know when challenges come and you're like, when will this challenge be over? I remember one of the person the Lord sent to was a uh, uh, pastor, um, the man of God here. Uh, he was praying with us. He was, you know, backing us up with prayers. Even when I got the assurance by the Holy Spirit. But, you know, when tragedy comes in a way that it shook your faith, at that time, it really shook my faith. But I thank God for his life. I thank God for people the Lord used because the election was a real deal. He was the president who wants to go for another re-election and he was meant to be there. But he couldn't make it due to the Russian sanction and everything. Like he said, he used all his contact and all that. But because he was not there, I remember there was a particular woman, very, very influential woman in Nigeria and all over the world that we called. I said, forget it, Bashir. If you're not there, they can't vote for you. I was in that. I was listening to her saying that. But I, the Holy Spirit was telling me, reject it. And I kept, she was saying, forget it. They can't, you can't win. You're not there. You didn't, we are not there on ground. People are there on ground. Of course, they will vote for the people that are on ground. But to the glory of God. The God that does what no man can do. The one that has the final say. Oh, yes. The one that has the final say. So whatever it is you are going through, Jesus has the No matter what anybody says, no matter how influential they are, God has the final say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.